first and foremost, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, like start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to your power. By Shalom. 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 You know, the times that we're coming into, you know, you should expect an influx of a lot more souls being added to the church, man. All right, a lot more newcomers coming into the faith, man. Okay, you know, like scripture talk about uh, men coming into the Lord's vineyard at the 11th hour. I mean, you're going to have some, you know, latecomers into the truth. You know? mm -hmm. And so, point being, you know, understanding that, you know, the time is short. So, you know, for the newcomers as well, you want to make sure that you're being diligent. Okay, of course. But also for the brothers that are already in the faith and establishing the faith, uh, you know, be mindful that you have to give the Gentiles, if you will, uh, time. Okay? And when I say the Gentiles, I'm saying the brothers who are, you know, just coming out the world, so they still got that Gentile state of mind or may even still look like a Gentile, you know? Some newcomers in the faith, they might have, you know, uh, dyed blonde hair, they might still have dreads, you know, that they, you know, that all that stuff needs to go. But, you know, understand that, you know, they're new into the faith, so, you know, you let them build up if you will. Mm -hmm. right? Just like how at one point when we were new into the faith, you know, we needed time to kind of put off all the old man and stuff. Which we put off the old man every day, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, it was, it was a difference, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. So, nevertheless, you know, these were good scriptures and the Lord will be able to All right. Uh, the first precept I have is uh, Acts chapter 15, verse 19, and it reads, Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from which from among the Gentiles are turned to the Most High. Right, so for those newcomers in the faith, we you know, trouble them not. You know? We understand that this truth is a lot. Like we, and the reason why this came through the Spirit the other day because, you know, I was with these brothers, man, and we was actually about to spark up a lesson, and we seen some dudes that we knew back in the world. And he knew all three of us from back in the world. And, you know, basically it was like, you see how the Lord uses examples, because, you know, just to say the least, all three of us were in that world, man. We were in the world, man. You know, doing worldly shit, to say the least. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, he knew what we used to do. And then to see what we were about to do, which when I say about to do, you know, we were about to do a lesson and stuff mm -hmm. and do the work. Mm -hmm. You know, which led to us doing the work before we did the work. Because mm -hmm. the Lord put the Spirit on us to, um, to help us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. man. And we was here for Hour, mm, you know, and hour, uh, yeah, bro, we were just flowing through the spirit, uh, like, right. brothers was flowing through the spirit, and it was just like, you know, we said it a couple times, we was like, damn, we don't want to overwhelm y'all, we uh, don't want to overwhelm y'all. The joke was, uh, he was receiving, right? He was asking some sincere questions, kind of. So, you know, basically, you know, <clears throat> point being, like, same thing with a brother coming new into the faith, you don't really want to overwhelm him, you know, that's uh, why it says, you know, concerning the you know, Gentiles, you know, Gentiles, you know, that we trouble them not, let's be careful, because, you know, this truth is a lot. You know, from in this truth, you know, that's why he said, you know, it's overwhelming because, you know, it's a lot. That's right. And the scriptures talk about um, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. So, um, you know, you got to start off with milk, man. Matter of fact, Bible starts to get Hebrews 5 as well. And whoever gets it first, you can hold on to the Acts 2. Uh, 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 uh. As a matter of fact, can you get Isaiah 29? Mm -hmm. You got Hebrew? Come on, come on. You can read it. Isaiah 29. Is this is a Hebrew. Oh, the fifth chapter, verse 12. For, for when the time you ought to be teachers, we have need that one teach you again, which be the first principle of the oracles of Yahweh, and, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Right, so mm -hmm. the time you ought to be teaching, you have need that one teacher again. So you have men who are, you know, of age, if you will, and they're supposed to be teaching by now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not the way the Lord had it set up. So it's like, yeah, I need that one teach you again. You know, mm -hmm. so they need they need to be reborn. They're coming new to the faith. It says, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So it says, you need, and you're going to read on. Go ahead on. Right, come on, come on, come on. Uh, going to 13 verse. No, 13 verse, 13 verse. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews, the fifth chapter, verse 13. And for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteous, 
righteousness, for he is a babe. Exactly. So milk, milk meaning you know you're learning the basics of the truth, if you will, the beginning steps of the truth, the foundation of things. You know what's milk? Which you know you can like in like in boxing, like you can win a fight just off the basics, even with the truth. You can win a, a spiritual battle just off milk. You know, but nevertheless, you still gotta you know you, know, you gotta start with the milk first, then you level up and you can touch on the strong meat. Because the baby. You know, uh, babies don't even have, uh, a lot of times when a baby's just born, what is it? they don't even have teeth, so uh, they need milk. They can't eat a steak, you know, they don't have any teeth, you know what I mean? So it's the same thing, you don't have, spiritually, you don't have any teeth when you first come into the table, so you drink that milk. Uh, you know, you gotta crawl before you walk. Right. Um, you know, you know, when we come across this walk, you know, it's, it's, it's like the brother said, you, you gotta learn the basics before we can understand, you know, the deeper things. Right, you know, when you first come into faith, you gotta learn humility, you know, you can't just be expected to be breaking down revelation, it's only your third day in the truth, you know what I mean, you're trying to eat on uh, steel, you know, <laughs> forget steak uh -huh. or meat, you're trying to eat steel, you know what I mean, so, and that's why you know, you know, you should really only be focusing on, you know, your lot, because, you know, if you looking at a brother, you know, a brother that can, you know, break down revelation or any other chapter, you, know, you can't let that, you know, bring you down because, you know, the Lord put the Spirit on different other brothers, you know, to, you know, bring out, you know, a um, uh, lesson. So, yeah. uh, you know, con, so like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you that's, you know, just, just to add on that, con, and to back up what the brother was saying, there's a scripture where it says, you know, as the Most High ordained, so let us all walk in the church, you know, basically like, you know, according to each man's faith, but paraphrasing, I believe it's in First Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna try to find it real quick. But y'all brothers keep talking. Y'all listen to it. Come, you know, like the brothers uh, saying, you know, coming to this truth is is a major is a major thing. All right, and you know, it's life changing. It's life changing because you know we come into this truth and, and there's a lot to take in, and it's like you're, you're opening your eyes, like you're being welcomed into a new world now. Everything right. that you knew before, you have to get rid of that. Put off that old man. Yeah, put off that old man, exactly. Alright, so you come into this truth, it's like, you, you truly being reborn. Because, say you come into this truth, you know, speaking on me and first and foremost, I came into this truth at about the age of, uh, age of 20. Age of 20 or 19, I came into this truth. Alright? And, you know, I had 20 years, 19 years of folly that was, I was being taught in this world. Alright? Thinking that, you know, what I knew was, 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 was righteous and was correct. Alright? And, and, and once I came into this truth, you know, the, all the things that I, I, I learned throughout those lives, throughout those years of my, of, of my you know, my, my fleshy life on, this, on in Babylon, I had to get, erase all those and, and learn, you know, the, the, the proper and the righteous things, alright? Right. You know, coming to this truth, I couldn't just jump straight to the meat. All right, because because can you give can, can you give a baby a newborn baby a piece of steak to eat? Can that baby chew that steak? Eat that baby has no teeth, straight gums. Right. Is that, <laughs> that baby has gums? Can that baby eat that steak? No. Okay, that's why you know once you come to the truth, God says milk. All right, milk. You know, such as you know, understanding dietary laws, understanding the laws that you commend that God washing our shop place down for us. You know, like. You know, don't shave your beard, don't, don't get their lineups, and, and so forth, okay? And, 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 you know, other brothers, when, when other brothers come into this truth, first come into this truth, you know, it, it, it takes other brothers' time, okay? Because, you know, other brothers could have been doing no worldly things like smoking, getting lineups, and, and certain things like that to a brother coming into the truth. It's like, whoa, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? And it may take time for that brother, you know, to... To, to, to be able to, you know, to, to, to put off that, to put off doing those wicked things and become 100% righteous. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I got the precept. Uh, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and verse 17. It says, But as the Most High hath distributed to every man, or fuck it, but as Yahweh Shemeshah hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. You know, so Lord distribute every man each his own portion of faith. So uh, mm -hmm. you go according to your measure, man. Like the brother, that's basically why I was getting at to bounce off what the brother said. You know, don't try to compare yourself to another brother. You can emulate another brother. You can, you know, admire him and use him as motivation. But don't try to compete, you know, like. Right. It's a friendly competition every day. Like, we're all pushing each other to be better. 
but we're not like trying to, we're not doing it out of strife and vain glory. So that's right. You know what I mean? That's right. You know, like the brother said, you know, every man is given, you know, their love. You know, so some brothers might be good with precept, other brothers might be good, you know, with reading. You know, every man got their own love in this truth. Right. Uh, and to, and to, to add on to that, we all are one body. Uh, all right. So you know, every brother has their own lot. So it's all one body, all one fluid. If every brother was doing the same thing, if say for example, I remember one of the one of, the, of our uh, brothers at the camp or something. If if every brother was only preaching a uh, uh, prophecy, what brother would preach, for example, repentance? Yeah. Or what, what brother would pre preach, uh, you know, repentance, forgiveness, you know, and, 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 and so forth. Yep. All right. And um, hey, like like brother said, we all one body. We go to First Corinthians. 13 and verse or slash first Corinthians 12 it says um first Corinthians 12 and 12 it says for as the body actually let me start at verse um let me start at verse uh four it says first Corinthians 12 and 4 now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit so each brother got a different gift in the faith but it still comes from the spirit of Yahweh Messiah one brother might be good with prophecy. One brother might be good with the herbs. Another brother might be good with ex exhorting brothers, you know, you know boosting brothers' faith. So, mm -hmm. just like this, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, just to add on um, with, uh, with the ox said about, um, you know, the one body. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Right. Point blank, period. Verse, this first Corinthians 12 and 5. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is of the same power which worketh in all. Okay? It says, um, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another the working of miracles, to another of prophecy, it's like to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, meaning brothers can speak different languages. It says, to another the interpretation of tongues, meaning the brother can break down what another brother is saying. It says, but all these work of that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will, for as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Mashiach. So basically, we are all one body, but we're all many members. So mm -hmm. one brother, he's Yahweh Shai's pinky. One brother's Yahweh Shai's pinky toe. One brother's Yahweh Shai's um, palm. Um, you know, another brother's Yahweh Shai's right eye. Another brother might be Yahweh Shai's, oh, Yahweh Shai is the head. Come, you come, know what come, I mean? Come. But like, you know what I meant to say? Is we're all Yahweh Shai's body. Come, you know right, what I mean? So, right, right. you know, a little slip of the tongue, but you know, another brother might be the arm, the elbow, the, the ankle, mm -hmm. the tendon, the knee. You know exactly. You know, but we saw that. Exactly. You know, but you know, we all make up the Lord's body. And Yahweh Shai, he's the head. You know, right? Uh, now, uh, let's go back. Let's backtrack. Go back to Hebrews 5 again. Yeah, that's still got it. And then we're going to get Isaiah next. Well, if you got a precept, you know, y'all boys can bring it up. Um, we'll go to the 14th chapter, correct? I mean, 14th verse. This is a Hebrews uh, 5th chapter, verse 14. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full of are full age, even those who get by reason of use have their sense exercised to discern both good and evil. Yeah, so brothers who are grown or more grown in the spirit, they can sense between good and evil in the spirit. They don't really need too much. You know, not that we don't not that if I'm knocking any brother who asks a question if something's off or not, because I still do it myself, you know, and that's what this all about. This truth is all about following the right way so there's nothing wrong still like you were asking the brother if something's off but you know brothers who are up in age in the faith you know they're able to sense in their spirit like nah that's off like they could just you know sense it in the spirit like same thing with a, with a uh with a child and a parent some parents they can just look at you know their child's friend and be like mm -hmm, he ain't right you know they might not really know what it is but they just know in their spirit that they ain't right a child you know a baby a baby is innocent a baby thinks everything is okay so it's like brothers who are new in the faith, you know, they're they trying to figure out like what's what's okay and what's not, which is completely fine. You know, you're supposed to ask the right way, the wrong way. But point being, like going back to the scripture, it says, who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So when you're up in age in the spirit, you can discern between good and bad. Oh, 
I'm just gonna lie, when we were doing school, myself speaking first, you know, when I first came in this law, you know, there was many questions that I had because, you know, when you come in, you gotta put off that old man of having that pride that you know everything. So, you know, when you do have a question that, or, or, you know, you need understanding, you ask, you know, the brothers that, you know, been in this law longer than you. Yeah. Because, you know, but like the brother said, you know, they, they, they can discern good and evil. You know, so just to add on that. So uh, there's a scripture where it says, if any man think himself to be wise, let him become a fool, but he may be wise. So you may think you know everything, but in this truth, you got to unlearn. Uh -huh. So it says, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. Meaning you be truly wise, because you know the wisdom of God. Uh -huh. You got the idea? Uh, this is Isaiah 28, verse uh, 12, and it reads, so I can start at, uh, 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 this is Isaiah 28, verse 9, and it reads, whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understanding doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the bread. Yeah, meaning they come from the milk. Like he just read. Right. A baby needs milk. Okay? Uh -huh. Who shall he teach knowledge? Who shall he teach doctrine? Those who are reborn and they take the milk, man. So for the Gentiles, newly coming in, all right, you give them time. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, that's the point on that right there. So let's go to us. Uh, so step here on we can wrap up unless y'all got any more pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach 4, verse 17. For the first, like, for at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her dis discipline and so she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Yeah, so the spirit of wisdom, she'll take you by crooked ways. You know, when you first come into the faith, you go through crooked ways. You watching all these different camps. You know, you still getting a lineup. You might even still be smoking weed. You know, I'm gonna keep it on it. You know what I mean? When I was new into the faith, I was still doing a lot of college, you know, but now I understand that it's not right to do it, you know, because I'm you know, a little older in the spirit now. But when you first come into the faith, you know, you gotta wean that stuff off. So for the brothers who are in the faith, you know, you gotta give the Gentiles time, you know what I mean, to build themselves up, if you will, you know, and for the Gentiles, or for the brothers who are really coming to the faith, you got to be diligent and push yourself every day to where, you know, because especially in the times we're in now, we don't have a lot of time to just be, you know, lollygagging and playing games and shit like that, you know, what I mean? you know so, you know, you should be diligent and on fire enough to be like, okay, I need to get right off the game, you know, right? especially make no tearing time to the Lord. So when you went with him, with him, when you first come in with him, she'll take you through the quicker ways, you know? Now this ain't the right way. You know? Now I don't watch that camera. You know what I mean? Nah, don't do that. Don't do this. You gotta, and, and in your spirit, you, you're going to know, all right? Because once you came into this truth, once you accept this truth, all right? That's, that's a, a step closer, all right? That, you know, you're always, you're always about to know that spirit. All you need to understand that you are, you know, understand your identity. Okay? And what's really to you? You spit like me, you know, me and the first and foremost, I came to you, you know, I was watching the other camps. I was watching about two other camps before you know, I found you and left, but I knew in my spirit that how those camps were, you know, um, hopefully I'm looking for operating, and, you know, the, the, the doctrine wasn't, wasn't right. I knew something was off. Uh, there, was, there was things I was missing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we keep reading on this, this, uh, this rock or PGS, this, 4 and 18, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and shew him her secrets. Meaning so, you know, you get to a level where you know the truth now. It says, but if he go wrong, meaning for you dudes who fall out, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Oh, that's, that's um, yeah. yeah, so that's the point right there, man. So, hey, you know, wisdom should work. Y'all watch him outside, he'll work with you. You know, he'll let you build yourself up in the faith. And he'll show you the way, and once you get to a certain level where you know better, and you go wrong, you turn your back on your Yahweh Bashem you 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 done with the Lord. Ultimately, it's really the Lord being done with you, but let's just say hypothetically, you done with the Lord, hey, wisdom will forsake you and give you over to your own ruin, man. Give it to your own ruin, whatever that, you know, you wanted to put over this truth, whatever, you know, you think that's over this truth, then, are you right there? No, um, he gonna, they'll give it to your own ruin. And that's the point on that right there. So let's go back to the uh, So hey, with that, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadosh.
Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone as well. Peace and blessings to the Lord. Shalom and the Bible Ball. Shalom and the Bible Ball. Shalom.